good evening. Hi, Gail Lewis, 2976 Ronson Drive. You guys know me enough, you by now to know that I get a little nervous up here, so excuse me. I really don't have any questions, but I do just have a couple of things I'd like to say. Um, the union's concern in this whole thing is that if they wanted us, they could have had us. The bid went out that included the HPA employees and the H and HPA operating the, the, uh, the authority just as it is today. So if they could have entered a, a bid like that and they chose not to comply with that and didn't do that. So that's when Article 29 became such an issue. And I feel that if we didn't have Article 29 there, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be an issue at all. They would come in and do what they wanted to do with or without our participation. Um, the HPA employees feel like they've been lied to from the beginning of this whole thing, from the beginning presentation that RBC made to our board. It was said at least six times, it's in the minutes, that we would remain the, the parking authority. Six times. And, that's, and as you can see now, that's not the case. Um, then, as you all know, our board told us that they would back us, that they had a contract with us that they would not go back on, and we know what happened there. The majority voted to do just that. Um, at the one meeting that I was at with Mr. Friedman, and he was told at the beginning of that meeting that it was not a negotiation meeting, that we had not gone to our membership yet to even ask them if they wanted to enter into negotiations. Um, and he told us at that meeting, he was asked, if the union says no, what are you going to do? And he said he would not fight with the union. He said he would end it, that he would not want his reputation soiled by him fighting with the labor union. And here we are. So I hope that you can all understand the union's hesitation to sit down and talk about any of this when we feel that Article 29 is doing just what it was intended to do, and that's protect us. Um, another thing, um, I feel uh, the main difference in what HPA does and what this leasing group will do is the revenue the parking authority brings in goes directly back into the community. The revenues that come in with the leasing group are going to go into their pockets. And elsewhere, New York, Connecticut, wherever. I, I think they worked really hard on their presentation, and I think they worked really hard on getting HPA's numbers to look like they did tonight. Um, but you've been sitting on this council long enough to know what the parking authority has done and has meant to the city. The HPA's debt's paid by the parking authority. The city doesn't pay HPA's debt. And unless I'm mistaken, that debt is to be paid off in around seven years. So that means more revenues for the city. As a homeowner for this city, in this city, I work here, I live here, I vote here. I don't want my tax money back. I want that to be used for what I paid it for. And it's certainly not enough to buy my vote in the upcoming election. Thank you. Thank you.